Hi guys. So far in class, we have been building NURBS objects out of curves. So we draw either in Illustrator or inside the inside Maya, we have drawn different types of paths, and then we have used revolve or loft or these other operations to create NURBS objects. However, there's also a process to extract curves out of NURBS already existing objects. So in this case, for example, we have two cylinders that are NURBS based. These are NURBS primitives. What I want to do is I want to extract information from one of these in order to connect those two objects. So let me go ahead and orbit this around a little bit. And let's go ahead and right click here and go to isoparm. Now remember isoparms, when I define them, they actually create these little yellow curves, the little yellow lines that tell me that an operation can be affected in that specific spot. So in this case, I want to use this spot right here to lay out a new curve. So I want to go ahead and do that and say, okay, out of this, I want to go ahead and say um, surfaces, and then I want to go to duplicate, sorry, curves, duplicate surface curves. So if I do that, what's going to happen is a new curve is going to be created, but this curve, let me switch my tool to the move tool. It's basically separate from the object, physically separate, but because there's history attached to the objects, like with anything we have been doing with curves and nerves, if I modify this object, the curve will follow along. So basically, it's been parented to that object. Same thing applies if I go to the sub-object level, for example, and go to Control Vertex and modify the curvature of my object around the point where that curve was created, you will notice that the curve changes in shape accordingly. So as long as history is activated, those two things will be connected to one another. So this is a piece of information that is extremely useful to us because we can make use of that knowing that things basically are parented. Let me select the curve that I created and delete it. Uh, if they're parented, then we know that whatever I do to any of these, as long as the history is attached to the curve that I had just created from it, then we can go ahead and use it to control other items. So the point here was to connect these two tubes. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this guy, add an isoparm in here. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag an isoparm. And in this case, that's the isoparm I want. So I want to go ahead and drag it all the way to the corner here, to the very edge on this side. And at that point, I am going to create a surface, duplicate surface curve. So there is my curve right there. I'm going to do the exact same thing across the way on the other cylinder. So go to object mode, right click on that isoparm. And then I'm going to go ahead and click and drag all the way, all the way to the edge. Notice that I'm clicking and dragging. I'm not letting go of my mouse until I get my isoparm on the edge. Then let go and go repeat the uh, operation, which is basically duplicate curve. Remember, to duplicate the operation that you just did, the letter G is the shortcut. So if I press G on the keyboard, I get a curve right there. Now I have these two curves connected to one another. I mean, uh, uh, connected to each one of the tubes. My goal is to connect the new create, newly created curves uh, through a, a loft in order to have those two objects connected to one another. So if I go to the existing one, the one that I just created, and go to the previous one and select it on my outliner, or here if I want to shift click over here, then I can go to surfaces, loft, and that creates a tube that connects those two curves. Now, if I this came out reversed, let me go to surfaces, reverse direction, and now I see the faces are actually appropriately set up. Now, if I go ahead and click on one of the two objects, you'll notice that they're attached to one another through that new loft object. And the reason for that is because the, uh, the object that I created, the two objects, the two curves that I created, have history attached, attaching them to the existing cylinders. Therefore, whenever I move the tubes, the curves will move and the curves are attached to one another through a loft, giving you the impression that both things are still connected. And so that is how you use uh, nerves in order to create curves.